of God. Thank you very much indeed. We now move to the next item of business, which is topical questions. Question one, Jim Hume. Uh, thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Uh, to ask the Scottish Government what its position is on reports that nearly 5,000 children will be homeless or in temporary accommodation at Christmas. Minister Margaret Burgess. Homelessness has been falling in Scotland. Applications are down by 20 per cent since 2012, with further falls in the latest statistics. Much of this is down to the focus on the prevention of homelessness, which is a priority for the Scottish Government and its partners. Numbers of children in temporary accommodation have also fallen since 2007. And whilst we do not want to see any families in temporary accommodation, our actions and strong legal rights for homeless households means that families are placed in good quality temporary accommodation while suitable settled accommodation is found. To help address this and against a challenging financial background, we are doing everything we can to help increase housing supply. This is backed by more than £1.7 billion of investment in the lifetime of this Parliament. We are on track to exceed our current 30,000 affordable homes target, and these targets are not the height of our ambition for Scotland's housing, but our starting point. We are not only increasing new supply, but working to protect existing supply through the right to buy, which will protect through ending, through ending the right to buy, which will protect our housing stock by preventing the sale of up to 15,500 houses over a 10-year period. The First Minister announced last month that if re-elected, our target as a government will be to build at least 50,000 new affordable homes in the next parliamentary term. Jim Hume. Yeah, I thank the Minister for that answer. But if a child is in temporary accommodation, they lose on average 55 days of schooling. So they have anxiety, distress, speech problems can occur, among many other issues. It sets them back at an early stage. So does, doesn't the Minister think that part of the problem is because the government switched away from its manifesto commitment, which was to build 30,000 homes for rent, not social, not affordable homes, as the Minister stated, and now insists that a third of those homes have to be bought with a mortgage instead. That doesn't help the 5,000 children, does it? Minister. Um, what, what I would say to Jim Hume is that the vast majority of temporary accommodation used is well-managed, good quality, furnished social housing stock. And we know that most local authorities use their own stock for temporary accommodation, and it's not different from that used by other households. And this government has uh, made a commitment to... 30,000 affordable homes. We're delivering on that commitment and we've also said it's not the height of our ambition and we intend to increase that in, if elected in a future government. So, and despite all the, the financial restrictions and difficulties that the government has faced, we've still built more houses for social rent than any administration since the devolved parliament was set up and we're outperforming the rest of the UK. We know we've got to do more and our ambitions to do more and that's what we're doing. Jim Hugh. Well, I, I, I obviously hate to disagree with the minister, but her own government uh, figures regarding new build starts in the social sector were 3,842 in the last year, whereas in 2006-2007, uh, when there was another administration in, that was over 5,500. So the Minister's words aren't quite collating or correlating, I should state, with the government's own figures. Uh, the Minister also needs to explain why there's actually 626... So Hume, please let us have a question. There are 626 more children homeless this year compared to last. The difference between 30,000 homes for rent and 20,000 homes for rent is clear to us, and that's 5,000 children in temporary accommodation at Christmas. Have any of those families, any of them, told the Minister that they are in a position to get a mortgage and buy one of their own homes? Minister. What I would say to Jim Hume is just let, let's get the statistics correct. This government has built more uh, houses for social rent than any other government since administration. And I'll just give him the figures. Um, the previous administration of which um, his party was part of in their in seven-year term built 28,988 houses for social rent. This government has built 38,859 houses for social rent in terms of affordable homes to help others. And if others get onto the housing ladder, it releases the home for social rent to some of the people who may be in temporary accommodation. In affordable homes, uh, 
The previous administration built 9,027, and this administration has built 15,327. So we are building more homes. I have said already, we do need to build more. We are going to be building more, but at least we are delivering and we're doing more than any previous administration. Okay, McIntosh. Thank you. Uh, does the Minister accept the verdict of Shelter Scotland, CIH and SFHA that Scotland is currently facing a housing crisis? Does she accept that? Minister, I have said on more than one occasion in this chamber that we are that we're facing challenges in housing and we are rising to that challenge and we have done with a target of 30,000 homes and when we completed that target and we took that based on what Shelter and other organisations were telling us at that time. That was an ambitious target. They've now told us that that target is not sufficient. We have also indicated that we are increasing our target to 50,000 and that's the baseline of the next parliament. So we are listening to what's being said. We know we need to build more houses and we're going to go on and do that. Christian Allen. Thank you, President Officer. To go back to the uh, question which was about temporary accommodation, it's not only about number, but it's about the quality of its accommodation. Can the Minister provide an overview of the quality of housing that is used for families in temporary accommodation? Minister. Yeah. Well, as I said in a previous response, the housing that's used for temporary accommodation is local authorities' own housing stock and it's like the other housing stock that they're renting out just now. The accommodation is generally furnished. The furnishings are replaced on a regular basis. The accommodation has to be within the local authority area. It has to be suitable to the schools and the services that the families need. So it's to be as close as possible uh, to what the family would, would get when they're in settled accommodation. But the accommodation is good quality local authority accommodation. And I think it, it's right that the, the member raises that point, that it's not about second-rate accommodation. It is of a good standard, and it should be, and that's right. Thank you. That ends topical questions. We are now moving to the next item of business, which is a debate on motion number 14681, in the name of Keith Brown, on Trident Welfare or Warfare. Members who wish to speak...